Welcome to Matsim. Matsim helps you to simulate uh, variants of uh, materials in a model. These variants are called a team. So the icon for uh, Matsim is uh, this one. It shows a dialog box in which uh, you have a number of variants. So if you click on another team, uh, then uh, you see that the materials are changed. You can uh, use the arrows as well to navigate or even the uh, mouse uh, wheel. You can have uh, more than uh, one simulation in a, in, the, in a model. Uh, for example, here is one uh, with less uh, themes uh, and just for the door and the roof. When you start Matsim for the first time on an empty uh, model, uh, you are proposed to create a, a simulation. So here is a panel to edit a simulation. The base uh, column corresponds to material which are in, in the model. And you can create one or several themes. Uh, and by default, one uh, theme is uh, enabled. Okay, so uh, the way now you uh, match, you create a map, a mapping of a material is the following. So here uh, in the model, for example, I have the uh, roof, uh, this one, okay, which normally should be this uh, material. Uh, here is a the default uh, material browser of, of SketchUp. So you say you put it in the base and then you say which one you want to uh, use instead in the theme. So let's say I want uh, this one. Okay. And here I've created a mapping between uh, the base material and a new one. If I save, I have now the base and the theme, and if I click on the theme, you see that the material of the roof uh, has been changed. Okay, so you can do uh, this, you can now uh, edit and amend uh, the, 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 the mapping uh, for the theme. For example, the door, uh, which is red, okay you want maybe in this theme to have it blue. You can create a new theme. So uh, let's call it uh, fun. Okay, where you say the door which is red will become green. Okay, now you have two themes. One theme where uh, the roof uh, will be uh, in theme A will be different, but when it's blank here, it means it's the same as the base. Okay, and the door uh, will change color in the uh, two other teams. Okay. So, this is how you uh, do it. Uh, you may want to use, uh, instead of the default SketchUp uh, Material Browser, you may want to use a custom browser, uh, which is the one uh, used in, uh, in Full Paint as well. Uh, on Windows, it does not matter. You can use uh, one or the other. Uh, this one, uh, the custom uh, uh, bro uh, material browser has more capabilities because, you, for example, you get uh, uh, so some color uh, palettes, uh, and you get other function, you get the naming. For example, you can show names of uh, materials uh, and adjust uh, these. You have also favorites. You can have uh, a set of uh, favorite colors. On Windows, 
it's optional on Macintosh. Uh, it is mandatory because the default material browser, when you click, you select a material, there is absolutely uh, no way to inform the, the plugin uh, uh, about that uh, action. Okay. So here is how you create uh, a simulation. One thing important is you can give a name to the simulation. Uh, for example, uh, uh, my villa. And another thing which is important is the scope of your simulation. Either it's the scope is SketchUp, that is this simulation will uh, be present uh, in all models of SketchUp uh, and, and all versions of SketchUp, uh, or just model. Okay, that is it will be only for this model, and of course, all the models uh, you will uh, uh, create by save as or save copy uh, as. Okay. To summarize, uh, in Matsim, the main panel shows you uh, the current uh, simulation. You can, uh, with the different themes, uh, and you can navigate uh, between themes. Uh, you can change uh, a simulation. You can create a new simulation. You can uh, duplicate the current uh, simulation. So you create another uh, simulation and you can now uh, alter. For example, you may want to uh, remove this or add a uh, uh, another uh, 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 material. Okay, so now you have free simulation. Uh, you can also uh, delete the current uh, simulation. You have a confirmation box uh, to do that. Okay, so now you have only two simulations. Okay, and you can edit a simulation. Uh, which, uh, where you can uh, set its name, uh, set its scope, and uh, fill uh, your, uh, do your mapping. Okay. You can easily de uh, delete a team uh, by uh, clicking on the uh, header uh, delete icon. Okay. So the first time it is blanked out, and the second time it is uh, removed. Okay. You can undo, so all operations uh, have an undo redo, so you can uh, reestablish uh, in case you made a mistake. Okay, and you have the uh, default parameters. So the default parameters have uh, actually two options. One is to restore the base material when exiting Matzip. Uh, this is important because there is really uh, a change uh, of uh, materials in the model uh, when uh, you use a theme. Okay, so uh, this it prevents you to uh, exit Matsim uh, with an uh, a state where materials are, are uh, replaced. And use the custom uh, material browser, so on Windows this is optional. Uh, if you don't click it, you, uh, it will not appear. You will, you have the possibility to use it anyway. On Macintosh, uh, this is mandatory. You must absolutely uh, use a custom material browser, and this, and there is no option. Okay. So uh, here is uh, to show you uh, what happens when you 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 change a team a theme. Uh, you see that, uh, for example, the, uh, if you go to classic, the uh, material uh, which uh, is used, for example, uh, this one, uh, sorry, this one was uh, the, uh, the cladding uh, siding uh, white. It is actually replaced by another one, okay, but still, uh, uh, keep its name. 
okay. So there is really a, a switch in a material done in the model. This is why it's important when you exit to restore uh, the materials. Okay. This concludes uh, this short video uh, giving an overview of uh, my team. Uh, enjoy uh, my team and uh, sketch.